there's always a purpose to pain, adversity, challenges. And the purpose is for us to find the true essence of who we are as human beings, that we are able to empower others. You know, um, it's just like people who look at athletes or entertainers, like say Michael Jordan. He used his talent in a way in which he made the people around him better. That's why he was able to win six championships. He didn't do it alone, but because of his tenacity and his work ethic, he made the people around him better. And, and then through his pain of being cut when he was in high school, um, that drove him. And so my pain, my anger, my hurt, I was blessed with this story. You know, I was dealt these cards. And so, and being dealt with these cards, how am I going to play the hand that I was dealt to the best of my ability, that I could win? That not only am I winning, I can empower my family, my community, and perhaps the world at large. And that's all I'm trying to do. I mean, I think we all have greatness in us. It's are we willing to tap into that, you know? And I think most of the time as human beings, because we're so concerned with what other people may say, we don't tap into that. Because our family members are the first one. Our friends are the first one to say, you're going to do what? You're crazy. And so we become, we embrace that and we let them turn us away from us reaching our full potential in life. Because when I started doing this, my friends, my family, dude, what you doing being a poet? What you going to do? You know, you got a degree in business marketing. A poet, a writer, you know? Everybody thought I was crazy and insane, but now, they saw over the years that, you know, I need to do this for myself, but, yo, know, he has something that's really going to change the world, you know, and he's using his situation to change the world.